Well, I want to talk about um, gluten intolerance today. And gluten intolerance uh, has a special feature in human health. Uh, this is nothing new. Uh, Plato talked about it. Uh, Hippocrates talked about it. This was known in the Egyptian papyri, the Egyptian health and medical writings back over 2,000 years ago. They talked about people who did not do well when they ate wheat and they had to eat rice and millet and, and um, flax seeds as opposed to wheat. And so there's nothing new. But it appears that because for about two decades, 20 years, everybody thought they should be eating wheat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Every snack had to have whole grains in it. And so we've selected for a bunch of people here who are sensitive to gluten, wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Before I forget, I want you to get a hold of that CD called Hell's Kitchen. I want you to get a hold of the, the book, Hell's Kitchen. I want you to get a hold of the book, Rare Earths Been Cures. I want you to get a hold of the CD called, um, the, 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 um, what, what, Char, help me here. The book what? No, the CD for oh, gluten intolerance. Oh, the CD, Serial Killers. Serial Killers, there you go, Serial Killers, Serial Killers. And Serial Killers, the CD, um, goes into all the hidden places you find gluten, all the places you find gluten. Now, gluten, normally... You think, just oh, it's easy to give up wheat bread, wheat crackers, pasta, whole wheat, spaghetti, that kind of stuff. But it's in the tomato soup. It's in the gravy. It's holding meatballs and, and meatloaf together. It's in dog food. That's right. People say, well, I, there's nothing in the house that has gluten. And I say, do you have a dog? Yeah. Oh, well, it's in, it's in dog food. That's what makes dogs get hot spots. They chew on themselves. They itch. They scratch until they get big ulcers on their skin. Uh, that's what gives dogs these problems is gluten intolerance. Now, this can cause infertility, it can cause asthma, uh, it can cause uh, celiac disease, it can cause appendicitis, diverticulitis, irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease. It can actually cause uh, things like um, uh, colitis, ulcer colitis, Crohn's disease. Uh, then you have things like dermatitis, eczema, um, psoriasis, also rosacea. All these things are caused by gluten intolerance, directly and indirectly. Then, of course, because it does change your intestines, reduce the amount of um, uh, absorptive surface you have, guess what? What happens here is you actually get less absorption and you get other diseases that are caused by nutritional deficiencies, like diabetes. You even get obese. People say, well, if you can't absorb, why am I getting obese? You can absorb calories, but you cannot absorb nutrients. So you find this whole array, and you find somebody who's got arthritis, diabetes, back problems, macular degeneration, you got people who have high blood pressure, heart disease of all kinds, then they have infertility, they've had babies born with muscular dystrophy, cystic fibrosis, cleft pelvis, Down syndrome, and uh, they wind up with all kinds of stuff, and you say, gosh, you've got 27 diseases in your family that keep going from generation to generation. Well, that's not genetic, although people will say it's genetic, Mom, my family's genes are screwed up. Every generation has 15 different diseases. Well, that's because the gluten intolerance thing is passed on through the cord blood. Gluten intolerance is passed on through breast milk. This has nothing to do with genetics. This is kind of a revelation. You're going to read a lot about this in my new book coming out, Epigenetics. And, of course, that CD again, Serial Killers. Serial Killers goes into all the hidden places that you're going to find gluten. This is probably the best CD. If you have any bowel problems whatsoever, if you have a gallbladder problem, your doctor wants you to take your gallbladder out, say, no, 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 I'm going to get on a gluten-free diet. Uh, for three months first, I'm going to take the 90 essential nutrients. I'm going to go. I'm going to take the what Dr. Wallace calls the gallbladder in a bottle. We're talking about um, ultimate enzymes. It has the ox bile in it, and will actually bile from the liver actually dissolves gallstones. Gallstones are not hard like kidney stones. They're actually just cholesterol. They're just almost 100 percent cholesterol, and they are. They do go into solution. They're dissolved by bile from the liver. So we're, we're waiting for your own liver to make more bile. The ultimate enzymes has bile in it which will help um, dissolve the gallbladder stones, bladder stones, gallstones. Do, do not get surgery. Give us 90 days before you decide on surgery. You, you won't get the surgery. Again, Serial Killers of the CD, the book in the CD, Hell's Kitchen, Rare Earths Forbidden Cures. You'll be amazed at how much we know about gluten intolerance and how many diseases you can resolve, you can prevent, especially if you have those diseases generational in your family, one generation to the next. You've got three and four and five generations with diabetes. That's not genetic. It's because your family has a gluten intolerance. You have four, five, six generations with arthritis, and that's because it's not because it's genetic. It's because you have five generations of people with gluten intolerance. That's not genetic either. Remember, uh, nobody um, has a genetic problem with poison ivy. 
Nobody's allergic to poison ivy, but everybody is intolerant of it because you're going to get contact of dermatitis. Nobody's allergic to gluten in itself. You know, there will be a few people who are allergic to wheat and so forth, but that's a different problem. That is not gluten intolerance. Gluten intolerance, you're going to get contact enteritis, which means you're going to get inflammation lining the um, intestines here. And the inflammation in the lining of the intestines is um, you, you lose those villi. There's little finger-like projections. You can lose up to 85% of your absorptive surface. And this is caused by a contact enteritis, E-E-N-T-E-R-I-T-I-S. Okay, enteritis, contact enteritis. And it's just like you get a contact dermatitis when you get poison ivy juice on you. And you can control this. Try it. Oh, I got migraines. I have this. I have a scratchy throat. I just itch all over. I have this terrible complexion. I can't get pregnant. Guess what? First thing you do is you get on a gluten-free diet for 90 days. Take the 90 essential nutrients. Get all of that CD, Serial Killers. The books and the CD, Hell's Kitchen, and the book Rare Earths Been Cures. Learn all you can about gluten intolerance, and you will save your family. And by doing that, you'll save America. We'll be back after these messages. Okay, Doug, what pearls of wisdom do you have for us? Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, macular degeneration today, as I've got a Fox News story that's headlined, Moderate Exercise May Prevent Age-Related Blindness. So we're talking about this, what they call age-related macular degeneration, which is the leading cause of blindness for el the elderly. In a study of mice... This was all published in the Journal of uh, Neuroscience. They say one group was placed on rodent tre treadmills, and that was set at a moderate pace for about an hour, five days a week. And the second was an inactive group that they put them on treadmills that did not move. After a couple of weeks, they exposed the mice to toxic light that killed their photoreceptors, the light-sensing cells in the retinas, and to induce macular degeneration. After two weeks of treadmill observations, they evaluated the retinal function in each group of mice and found that in the exercising group, the animals had ret uh, retained twice as much retinal function as the inactive group. According to the lead researcher, Michelle T. Pardue, an associate professor of ophthalmology at Emory University School of Medicine and research career scientist at the VA in Atlanta, says, we were surprised this is as much uh, there was this is much protection as we've seen in other types of neural protectives we've worked with in the past. As they currently the primary form of treatment for macular degeneration patients is getting injections of anti-VEGF drugs directly into the eye, and that causes uh, growth of the abnormal blood vessels, which leak and cause damage directly into the eye. And they say typically this is done in the late stages, but they found that. Uh, the, the uh, neurofactor, a brain-derived neurofactor, that in the mice that got the exercise, they had an increased 20% production of this uh, BDNF. And I think uh, you might have a different take on how you could treat macular de degeneration instead of getting something injected directly into your eyeball. <laughs> well, yeah, leave it fun. to a doctor to inject something into your eyeball to prevent blindness, right? I wonder how many people will get blind by sticking a needle in your eye. At any rate, um, basically, I actually have a CD out called Seeing is Believing. Uh, actually, I found about 25 years ago how to prevent and reverse macular degeneration. Even people who are legally blind, Doug, for 6, 8, 10 years, been able to reverse in 90 days. And there was a guy in an audience up in Salt Lake City jumped up and said, Wallach, you're a liar. It's an age-related thing. There's nothing you can do to prevent it or fix it. I says, well, I'll tell you what, who are you? He said, well, I'm an eye doctor, and I'm telling you you can't do it. Tell you what, you give me 12 of your patients, I'm talking to him now, 12 of your patients who are legally blind, 6, 8, 10 years with max regeneration, and in 90 days, if I could get half of them, I could get six of those 12 to read 2020, would you apologize if you could get two? The next day, he brings me 27 charts. I said, look, let's just take them all. Of course, the patients paid for their own product, and I said, let's take them all. And in 90 days, 25 of the 27 could read 2020 without glasses. The other two had been legally blind for six or eight years, did require glasses to read 2020, but they're able to go from being blind six or eight years or ten years to, again, um, being able to read 2020, even if it took glasses. Now, he wrote me an apology, and he put it onto a CD with his voice, and it goes into the apology and tells what they did to reverse their macular degeneration. And it's called Seeing is Believing. And, of course, what, what's happening here with these mice exercising, they actually produce an antioxidant called glutathione. And glutathione actually helps get rid of the, the pigment of aging. People get age spots on their hands know exactly um, about that because macular degeneration is age spots in the retina of the eye. 
All you got to do is get on the 90 for Life, stay away from free radicals in the food, fried foods, processed meats, oils, and gluten, and you throw in our antioxidant program, including Immortalium. Guess what? It supports and promotes healthy antioxidant process in the eye. 90 days, you're going to see better. Many people, they get to see 2020 or whatever it was they were seeing before they went blind. Seeing is believing. Stick with us. We'll be back with more Truth, Justice, and the Young Jibity Way on Dead Doctors. Don't lie for these messages. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Louisville, Kentucky. Ed Donna, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Oh, Donna, you're on the air. Hello, Dr. Wallach. Um, I have a friend that has a 20-month-old baby or son, and he weighs 26 pounds. Um, when he was tw- 12 months old but, and went for his checkup, his level lead level was 32. And they put him on a med- medication, I can't pronounce it, C-H-E-L-A-T-I-O-N mm-hmm. medication, and his levels went down to 8. But by the end of that, Two weeks later, it's back up to 16, and the doctors are telling her, well, they don't know how to treat it. It's, his last checkup is it's 10.9. Okay. But the doctors... Well, there's, there's two things here. For number one, we've got to find out where the source of lead is. And uh, do they live in an old house? Uh, the water, the tap water has lead in it. They have to have the, the water uh, checked by the Department of Public Health. They'll do it actually for free. I'd immediately... Start using bottled water. Don't use tap water for the baby's formula. Don't give anything to the baby with, with uh, tap water in it. Uh, check that out, particularly if they're living on a farm or an old house. Then um, uh, the, the sort of natural antidote to lead is calcium. And so at a 26-pound um, baby, I'd get what we call Tropical Plus. It's a great-tasting uh, liquid multiple. And I'd also get a uh, get one one bottle of the Tropical Plus and one quart of the Osteo FX Plus, and give that baby a teaspoon for 20 pounds of body weight twice a day. So 26 pounds, I give the baby a teaspoon of the Tropical Plus at breakfast and dinner. I give that baby a teaspoon of the um, Osteo FX Plus at breakfast and dinner, and I would locate the source. And of course, uh, there's all kinds of things you can do medically to get rid of lead. Um, there's a thing called penicillin, um, uh, which can do that. You give it by injection uh, or pill, and they dump a lot of lead out of their uh, liver and muscles and fat and everything into the urine. Another one is uh, EDTA, but I don't like to do that because it takes all the good stuff away as well as all the bad stuff. So as quickly as possible, they need to switch to bottled water uh, for making the baby's formula. They can buy it by the gallon, so it's not like it's, it's um, uh, going to be expensive. And then also, I would also get that baby the EFAs. I would give that baby two of our EFAs um, a day. Uh, go ahead and puncture those EFA soft gel capsules, squirt it into the baby's mouth, then give them the formula. And again, the Tropical Plus comes in quartz, great tasting stuff. Kids love it. And then also the Osteo FX Plus. <clears throat> Excuse me. But find out where that source is and then get back to us. I'd get that water analyzed today, but don't use it again until you're sure that it's lead free. I think it's probably the water in the house. Uh, there's got to be something in that house that um, is the source of lead, unless the mother's breastfeeding the baby. And if the mother's breastfeeding the baby, then the mother's got a source of lead that she's got, either uh, at home or at work or whatever. Um, the source of lead's got to be found. Call us as soon as you know. We'll be back after these messages. Well, let's head to California and Anita. You're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Anita. You're on the air. Hi, Dr. Wallach. Um, Hi. I have a question about... Um, I'm on dialysis. I've been uh, on your program for about a year now um, due to my dialysis, and I also had a hip problem, so you gave me um, glucogel to take. Um, But right now, what I'm having trouble with is my um, parathyroid is very high. They're saying that it's very high. Mm -hmm. And they put me on on Sensipar. Um, I've been on it for like four months. I don't know what that is. What is it supposed to do? Um, it's supposed to lower my, my parathyroid They didn't tell you the level. mechanism? They didn't tell you the mechanism? No. Uh-uh. Okay, let me ask you something. Um, okay. You ever had kidney stones? No. Do you have osteoporosis? No. Do you have arthritis? Uh, no. Okay. Was your blood calcium high? 
The calcium um, is 10.9. They say it's very high. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's supposed to be around um, 5. Yeah, so 10.9 is probably double what you should have. And that's due to a raging osteoporosis. Now, uh, how long have you been on dialysis? 16 years. Okay, now, dialysis is mindless. You know, dialysis takes out all the bad stuff, but it also takes out all the good stuff. And for uh-huh. over those 16 years, how long have you been supplementing with products? With your products, um, it's been a year. Okay. So for 15 years, you weren't supplementing with any real serious vitamins and minerals, correct? Right. Okay. Do you have diabetes? No. Okay. Now, are you on, in addition to the 90 cents of nutrients, are you on the Ultimate Daily Tablets? Yes. I take six a day. And how much do you weigh? 118. 118. Okay. That'd be reasonable. Now, do you have any skin problems? No, not right now. No, well, not right now. Does that mean, did you? Eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, rosacea? Um, I had, like, real dry skin, and um, what caused it, uh, I would scratch, and it would cause, like, little welts. Mm-hmm. Okay, did you ever have asthma or chronic bronchitis as a kid? No. Did you have your appendix out? No. Do you have anything like constipation or diarrhea, irritable bowel syndrome, diverticulitis? No. Okay, good. All right. Um, You have a raging osteoporosis, maybe related to the dialysis, uh, maybe just related because you were 15 years on vitamins and minerals. And so at 118 pounds, that would take, again, one healthy bone and joint pack per month. I would get you an extra bottle of calcium so you can take an ounce at breakfast, an ounce at dinner. I'd get the extra glucogel so you can take five, three times a day of that. Take a half dose of everything else at breakfast, a half dose at dinner time. Don't forget two ounces of the Oxyflex Plus a day. The blood calcium will come down. The more calcium you take, in this case, the calcium will come down. The parathyroid um, numbers will come down. Calcium will come down. And um, your hip problem should um, show considerable improvement after a year. Um, but uh, give us a call. Uh, every two weeks. But, yeah, I'd double your calcium. Get another bottle of the uh, osteos. You can take an ounce twice a day, 15 glucogel a day, um, one scoop of the BTT Beyond Tan Tangerine Breakfast Dinner. Call us every two weeks. We'll be back after these messages. Uh, let's head to Illinois. And, Sharon, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Well, Sharon, you're on the air. Hello, sir, and I want to say God bless you very much. You're an answer of prayer. Well, thank you uh, for the kind words. What's up? Well, you're welcome. Um, I'm 65 years old. I've been gluten-free for a year. I'm not doing the no bad foods. I started in um, December around the 27th with the Healthy Start Pack Selenium Glucogel. was on it for three weeks, and then I got found out about Z-Radical, and I thought, shoot, I'll do that. You know, so I got the Z-Radical. I took it the first day, and at 1 o'clock that night, or 1 a.m. in the morning, I broke out in these half-inch diameter rashes all over my body. And I found out glucogel is shellfish. And it was like, oh, I'm all right. Glucogel has shellfish in it, I think. So I thought, okay. Uh, I mean, I was on it for three weeks. I guess I have a shellfish allergy or allergic to it. I didn't respond for three weeks. But when I took the Z-Radical, bam, you know, it... I was all over my body. So I do need stuff for joints, and I do like to take the Z-Radical. I haven't done it yet, though. It's sitting here waiting, looking at me, saying, come to me. <laughs> you know, and okay. I want well, here's, it. But here's what you what do. You what you do is um, uh, next time you order, instead of ordering glucogel, order the um, what's called um, 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 Z-Radical. Not Z-Radical, uh, the um, uh, Fucoid Z, Fucoid Z. Fucoid Z is actually, um, it has the same kind of material in it, but it comes from a um, uh, red marine algae from off the shores of Tasmania, off the shore of southeastern shore of, of Australia. And this material, this fucoidin, which comes in, in the fucoid Z, um, is, uh, again, a capsule has 100 milligrams of fucoidin per capsule. It's really great stuff, and it will actually give your, your body what it needs to support and promote maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between the vertebrae, but it's a non-animal source of that material. So there's no shellfish in there. Also, we have a calcium that's shellfish-free. Um, OsteoFX Plus does have some have some um, shellfish in it. 
and so we do have what we call Cal Toddy. It's almost exactly the same formula as Osteo X Plus, but Cal Toddy, which is actually our original liquid calcium, doesn't have any shellfish in it. And so that's another option there. Get rid of the uh, uh, Osteo X Plus if you're allergic to shellfish and switch over to the Cal Toddy and switch over to the Fucoid Z capsules instead of the glucogel capsules. And then uh, the, the Z radical should be okay if it's the shellfish you're allergic to. Give us a call. Let us know. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Georgia. Ed Shola, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Oh, Shola, you're on the air. Good afternoon, Dr. Wallach. Hi. How can we help you? Yes, please. Um, I had spoken to you some a couple of weeks ago regarding my mom uh, for the heart problem that she had, and you recommended healthy heart and brain park and de-stress. Mm -hmm. uh, but the concern with my sister is that she's on medication right now, and she's in rehab. My, my mom is in rehab, and we don't want to go through the rehab telling them, so we want to make sure that these um, medications that she's on will not have any interaction. So I wanted to give you the names of the medication. Okay. And the first one is Pepsid, 200 milligrams. Co-sopped eye drop, amiodarone. Okay, for eye drop, she has glaucoma. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Then amiodarone. Okay, that one I don't know. What is that for? Amiodarone. I think uh, I don't know. Maybe that's for her heart or something. Mm -hmm. Or what kind of heart problem does she have? Um, this uh, she has congestive heart failure, and she had um, heart. You know, she had heart attack uh, like three times in the okay, hospital. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's three different types of heart attacks. Does she have a blood clot, kind of a coronary thrombosis? Did she I have cardiomyopathy, she... heart disease? Did she have congestive heart failure? What, what kind of heart disease does she have? Um, I, I think what they said is congestive heart failure. Okay. But she went through a whole lot. She was in the hospital. She was even put on the ventilator at a time. Yeah. But okay, well, this is, this is complicated by two things. Uh, number one, she's in she's in a care center. They're not going to do anything the doctor doesn't sign off on. Okay, they're just not going to do it. And so if the doctor wants to call me, I'd be happy to talk with them. But when it comes to nutrients, your body needs nutrients. That's what's going to make things heal. Drugs do not make your body heal. It can reduce symptoms, but it can't make things heal. Your, your heart, your lungs, your liver, your kidney, your muscles, your cartilage, your skin, your brain, your eyes, everything needs raw materials every day just to function. Just like your car needs gasoline and crankcase oil and transmission fluid and differential fluid, it needs those things just to function. Your heart needs everything, all 90 essential nutrients, 16 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, 3 essential fatty acids. And even though she's taking medicine for symptoms, she still needs those nutrients, especially she needs those nutrients. And so um, if they'll let you, you want to give her the basic um, one um, healthy heart and brain pack per 100 pounds of body weight. And if she has congestive heart failure, I throw in the de-stress capsules, three twice a day per 100 pounds of body weight. If she has cardiomyopathy heart disease, I throw in three extra selenium uh, twice a day uh, per 100 pounds of body weight. And then if she has um, uh, coronary artery disease or thrombosis, she has a history of thrombotic or blood clot heart attacks, make sure she's getting extra of the EFA pluses so she can uh, three uh, twice a day per 100 pounds of body weight uh, to reduce the risk of blood clots. So get more information. Um, it's going to be difficult to do this in, in a healthcare center facility without the doctor joining in. I'll be happy to talk to the doctor on the air if he wants to call me. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Georgia. And June, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Oh, June, you're on the air. Hi. Uh, I've had some very severe symptoms, and I think it was due to another power box put on the house. It felt literally like vibrations in my legs, and the victrus that was supposed to come off of the eye at a certain time in life got stuck and put a hole in the retina, and we couldn't sleep. There was a lot of things. My blood pressure went up, uh, uh, just a whole lot of things. Okay, well, let me ask you a couple uh, of questions. How old are you, ma'am? I'm 71. Okay, and do you have any history of asthma or respiratory problems? No. Okay, do you have any history of skin problems? Dry skin, eczema, no. dermatitis, psoriasis? 
you know, a, a thing did, I got a patch on my arm that was, uh, it just had little dots all over it, and then it was, uh, it's going away now because they did remove the thing, so I don't know. Mm. Uh, okay, let me ask you some more but, questions. Do you have any children? I have one, but he's, yes, he's 44. Okay, does he have any health problems? Well, he had adult set on seizures, and, uh, he weaned off of the morning 200 milligrams of uh, Epitol, mm-hmm. generic for Tegretol, and he wants to wean off of the other because he has... Okay, well, okay, well let's just talk about you first here. All right. How much do you weigh, dear? At 180. And how tall are you? 5'6". Okay. Well, hang on. Get your pen and paper ready. We're going to give you some information on how to help yourself. We'll be back after these messages. We're back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie on the ZBS Radio Network. Dr. Joel Wallach here for Young Jenny, 90 for Life Crusade, and Douglas. Go right back to Georgia in June. Char, are you there? I'm here. Okay. Here's a 180-pound lady, probably 30 pounds overweight. She has high blood pressure. She has patchy skin. Um, sounds to me like she's a little befuddled, has all this stuff going on. Uh, what would you do for her? Well, she definitely, with a skin problem, she definitely has a gluten problem, and she needs to get on a gluten-free diet first, and then she needs two, I would give her two healthy bone and joint packs. Okay, good. And what would you do for high blood pressure? Well, she she should take the ultimate daily, but the, the calcium in there will help too, but she, just in case, she needs to take the ultimate daily. Perfect. Well done. Okay, two healthy uh, bone and joint packs. That's uh, one ounce of the OsteoFX Plus at breakfast and dinner. Two scoops of the Untainted Tangerine Nutri Crystals 2.0, which is drop dead gluten free. Uh, two scoops of breakfast, two scoops of dinner. Three of the EFA Plus is a breakfast and dinner. Fifteen glucogel a day. Five at breakfast, five at lunch, five at dinner. All that will be accomplished by the two healthy bone and joint packs per month. As Char said, you need uh, one bottle of the uh, Ultimate Daily Tablets per month. That's three of the Ultimate Daily Tablets for breakfast and dinner. It supports remote healthy blood flow through obstructed arteries and supports remote healthy blood pressure. And the gluten intolerance should deal with the uh, patch of the skin. Uh, the fact that your son has acquired seizures later in life, get him on a gluten-free diet also. Get him on the 90 essential nutrients appropriate for body weight. Throw in the de-stress capsules for him. And the Smart FX, get some raw materials for, for uh, some um, uh, neurotransmitters for memory, for cognition, problem-solving, all that kind of stuff. And how much time we got left here? Uh, we have about two and a half minutes. Oh, two and a half minutes. We got time to be calm here, Char. Um, let's um, let's uh, talk about the business a little bit. We're we're growing so fast here. We need some more help. What would you recommend to people who really, really should get involved and, and might want to get involved with helping young Jivity, um provide health information to people? We we do pay very well, and so you've been with us for twenty five years, and you've seen it all when it comes to business building. You've seen it all when it comes to health. What would you recommend? How, how should people get started? Well, to me, I worked in offices all my life and never made a lot of money. My pay was kind of a joke to my family. But uh, to me, I call this a, it's a get rich slow. You don't get rich overnight, but you can have a lot of fun. I call it getting paid to socialize because you make a lot of good friends in the process, friends that are friends for life, and they all have the same uh, goal, which is to improve their health. And everybody is got on the same page, so to speak. Yeah, so uh, you're not. Uh, what what tools did you use? What tools did you use to? You, you have a high school education. Yeah, I. You don't have I any medical degrees or anything. You know, so I, what what tools did you use to kind of get up to speed to know what you're talking about? I listen to the CDs. I mean, that's I like to listen, and I got the books. I got all your books, of course. Books and CDs. That's the you. That's where you learn. You gotta, you know, you gotta learn. And of course, nowadays you can. There's websites. The company gives you a free website. You can access all kinds of information with you and Dr. Glidden mm-hmm. and uh, lectures that they've given and stuff. You can buy them on DVD. And I suggest people do that. Most people can learn much more by listening or watching a DVD or listening to CDs, especially when you're driving someplace to uh, do errands. You can listen to the CDs while you're driving. There's still no law against that. Yep. I know you loan out a lot of CDs. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. 
hand out CDs like calling cards, uh, definitely. And in the beginning, if you don't have a lot of money, you just say, hey, I'm just starting out, I, I need this back, and that's a good excuse to get their phone number so you can recontact them again. And if they don't want to do anything about it, if, they, if listening to the CD doesn't get them, uh, they're not too smart, and then just say, <laughs> I need it back so I can give it to somebody that uh, cares mm-hmm. about improving their health. I, the, the big thing is the information, in my opinion, is not available to the general public that we have. The truth, basically the truth has been suppressed. And, exactly. And- well, thank you so much, Char, for sharing that insight. Again, very successful lady when it comes to a huge business. How many people do you have working with you? 400,000. 400,000, yep. Well, thank you, Char. Well, thank you so much, uh, Doug and Billy. Superlative job as usual. God bless each and every one of you. God bless our troops. God bless our Navy SEALs. And God bless America. America.